it's Miss Freitas. A few weeks ago, I read you this book, Goggles, by Ezra Jack Keats, and you guys asked some amazing questions. I was so impressed. This week, we're going to use the same book to learn how we should reread to learn more about our characters. Now, a few weeks ago, Mrs. Spradling made a video that taught you guys about inside and outside traits, and it... Um, hello? Hey, Miss Freitas. Oh, hi, Mrs. Spradling. I was literally just talking about you. I know. I just wanted to remind you about inside and outside character traits. Oh, okay. Inside traits are personality traits. The thoughts and the feelings that the characters have, we could describe them as funny or kind or silly. So that's what inside traits are. And outside traits, outside traits are what we see. So we could describe the character has brown hair, is short, has a green shirt. Oh, so how Peter is short and that's an outside trait and he's also very smart and brave and that's an inside trait? You've got it. Thanks, Mrs. Bradling. No problem, bye. Bye. Mrs. Bradling was right. We need to make sure that we pay attention to the characters inside and outside traits, just like she taught us. Something else that we need to make sure we do is we need to look at the faces and the bodies of our characters when we reread. That means read the book again. Just like you might look at your friend's faces or your friend's body to figure out how they're feeling, you can do the same for your characters. Also, you need to think about, has this character changed as I read the story? Did they start out really shy, but then turn brave? That is something that you should think about while you reread your book. And lastly, you need to reread the dialogue. The dialogue is where the characters are talking to each other. Now, I remember when I first read this book, I read a line that said, Archie, Hold Willy, said Peter. But now that I've read the book all the way through and I feel like I know the characters better, I feel like I should read that line, Archie, hold Willy, said Peter, because I feel like that's the way it was meant to be said. I'm going to read Goggles by Ezra Jack Keats one more time for you. All right, let's read Goggles by Ezra Jack Keats. This time, pay attention to the characters' faces and bodies and how they talk to each other. Also think about their inside and outside character traits and if they change throughout the book. Goggles by Ezra Jack Keats. Archie, look what I found, Peter shouted through the pipe. Motorcycle goggles. Archie watched Peter through the hole. He listened and smiled. Peter ran to the hideout and put on the goggles. Aren't they great, he asked. Archie smiled and nodded. Peter said, let's go over to your house and sit on the steps. Archie nodded. They started off. Suddenly, some big boys appeared. Give us those goggles, kid. No, they're mine, Peter said. His dog, Willie, growled. Archie, hold Willie, said Peter. Peter stuffed the goggles in his pockets and put up his fists. Archie gasped. Peter turned to see if something was wrong. The next thing he knew, he was knocked to the ground. Everyone stared at the goggles. Before anyone could move, Willie snatched the goggles and ran through a hole in the fence. The big boys chased after him. Meet you at the hideout, whispered Peter. You go this way, I'll go that way. They won't know where we're going. Willie will find us. Peter raced to the hideout. He sank down as low as he could. Footsteps, the big boys, they followed me. Peter held his breath. Archie! What was that? Archie looked through the hole. There were the big boys and there was Willie. They would see him. Archie stared at the pipe. Suddenly he spoke. 
Here, Will Willie, through the pipe, fast. Willie! Peter peeked through the hole. The big boys were coming closer and closer. Peter took a deep breath. Then he yelled through the pipe, Willie, meet us at the parking lot. Head for the parking lot, yelled one of the big boys. Let's go. Peter, Archie, and Willie crept out of the hideout. When they reached the fence, they got up and ran. They got to Archie's house. Archie laughed and said, we sure fooled them, didn't we? We sure did, said Peter, handing him the goggles. Things look real fine now, Archie said. They sure do, said Peter. That was the end of our story. Hmm, I think I learned something new about this character and how he changed in a story. Thanks for reading. Your job today is to figure out and tell your teacher something new that you've learned about one of the characters in this story, now that you've read or listened to this story twice. All right, first graders, I'll see you next time. Have a great day. Bye.